Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Day number 53 on the road to 2000. Um, apologies for the last video being a little bit short. You know, we just jumped in there. We were quite aggressive and bosh, we just got it done quickly. Uh, even though I missed a mate, which was, uh, I think, a mate in two, just a, a few moves prior to actually getting um, the resignation. But it is what it is. And I just wanted to put out a little something just so you guys know I'm still here. The journey's still going on, the grind is still real, and yeah, lately it's just been a it's just been an interesting one. I've been quite busy, so we're gonna jump into a fifteen ten and let's see what we can do today. Okay, we're going for the English. And also, sorry about the um In fact that wasn't even the last video, was it? The the video which was I'm talking about. The last one was actually, sorry, the last video was like 24 minutes. Sorry, I take that back. Um, but the video before that was seven minutes. So, yeah, it was a little bit kind of quick. Now, that is pretty normal. When we do this, the queen, it's normally a5 or it's normally all the way back to d8. So we are just going to push out and develop. And... I'm still kind of getting used to trying to adapt from going to a 10 minute from a 10 minute rapid game into a 15 10 whole different ball game whole different game altogether it really is and it took me a while to kind of get used to it but I I, I really like it I love my fast games I love the slow games as well um okay so we are just going to continue development in fact, you know, should we take the center? They're kind of allowing us to do that. I see no reason why we can't. Just making sure, yeah, we defend. This is defended. We might get a bit more pressure on this pawn now. If so, we will develop again. Want to fianchetto? Okay. So we're going to fianchetto. We might get this now. If we do, we will push on ideas of getting the bishop in there b5 we need to get that bishop out of there so i think b5 makes sense we need to be aware of this as well because this has only got one defender okay so they straight up attack my queen which is looking after d4 so i i think we can just develop like so now let me just make sure so hang on we could just push but i don't really want to push that if my king's gonna castle kingside then this is going to be exposed a little bit so I, i'm gonna i'm quite content just doing this is that okay I'm going to do that. And obviously, if I take, they take, I take. So they're going to have to do something about it. Now, obviously, my queen is defending this, d4, with my bishop. So taking with my queen would mean that there was only one defender on that. So I am going to take back with this, which also adds another defender for this as well. So we've now got three defenders on this. And still one defender on this. So I've given up my um, my light square bishop. I need to think about that. How has that changed the game? At the moment, not massively, but things change. So always trying to keep up to date with the latest. Okay, now, because I've got two attackers on d4, I think two defenders for now is fine I'm quite happy to maybe put my bishop out here g5 and if they don't do something about if they don't do that then I push there and then say they push here then I take and they take then I take so I'd win a pawn I'd expect them to do that anyway but if so 
where would this then go? I mean, won't go here. Wouldn't go here. Wouldn't go. So, let should we try it? I mean, castling would obviously be a very um, sensible idea. I, I'm there though. I can castle now. And I think I'm 90% sure that I'm going to do that. Okay. So again, if we if we attack, I guess they could go here. They could go there. Maybe we maybe we come back. Maybe we should have done that in the first place. Looking at C7 and then maybe I don't know, let's just try and think about what we're going to do. So they're going to castle, we're going to castle. Or maybe ideas of, do we want to get rid of one of their knights? And then we've got two knights against a, a bishop and a knight. It's a question that we need to sort of think about. So they'll castle that dark square bishop. Is it going to be handy for them? Should we keep ours? Does ours counter the fact if they've got one? then we might be sort of, we might be wise to kind of stick with ours. And also if we take and they take back, then we can pressure that. Then they just go here. Where do they go? Or they go all the way back. So I think, I think castling's fine. I think that's fine. If they take that, we take. If they take, we take. If they take, we take. So I I think it would be sensible to get this away from the bishop now because it's currently not defended if this just went back home or somewhere else. I think that'd be wise. Is it silly to go all the way back? If they castle, I want my bishop looking... So if they take, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just take, I just take, and then say they take again, and then I take, then they take, then I take. I think everyone's happy there. Well, not happy, but it's, I think it's pretty much equal. So what's going to happen now? Are they going to keep that tension, or are they going to try and move it? In fact, do they win a pawn? Oh, okay, so they they want me away. They don't like that. So... What about if I, is it perfectly, perfectly fine, I think, just to come back? Or shall I just maybe, or oh, do you know what? I've always been told, try and keep as much sort of off the board and vision of the bishop as possible. So, but I don't like, do you know what? I'm going to look after the center some more. So I'm just going to make sure that I've got control over this and Maybe ideas of pushing. If they take, we take. Okay, here we go. Now shall I push? Where do they go? Maybe line up the rook with this. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to line this up. Looking at this potentially, if something unfolds in our favor. I mean, it's pretty hard to calculate God knows how many moves down the line in terms of what I'm trying to... I'm just trying to get this in a more sort of, I don't know, productive line. Because at the moment here, that's that could easily go. But this is just, it's not going anywhere. Whereas this would be, I don't know, this is more of where the game's going to take place. As with this one as well. So the E and the D files at the moment for me, I'm just trying to sort of maintain that. Maintain a bit of kind of control. Okay, so now they might be looking at doubling up. And then in which case, they'd have one, two, three eyes on it. And I've got one, two, three. So 
again, if I push this, they take, I take, they take, I take, they take, I take. So maybe I want to kind of, and their queen being ahead of the rook, they're not going to want to take. So I think maybe add another defender to this pawn, which is currently only protected once, just in case they do something like this and they take. And then I suppose I could take like this, but then I kind of lose control of this. But I want to kind of get my rooks working together on the D and E files. And I think that looks pretty solid. Um, just always double checking around my king, making sure there's no kind of funny business going on. Right, you could take, you could move there. I mean, G4 threatens my bishop. Um, if that happens... That's a tough one. Maybe looking at that. I think first things first, I need to kind of get my rook into the, if they don't do that. I think if g4 comes in, always look, at how am I going to deal with that? I mean, ideally, I don't want to have doubled up pawns. So maybe this, then if they take, I can take back with the rook. Then there's only one defender on this. So if they bring this in first before they do all of that, then I do that. So at least I've got... Oh. Yeah, I don't know, actually. Hang on. This next move could be... Um, could be telling. So let me see... Um, let's see what they do with this. Ah, yeah, they do do it, don't they? Um. Okay. I mean, I, I don't want to move this because this is currently doing a job here. Do I allow them to double up the pawns? It's not the end of the world. It's not ideal. Is there a potential threat? If this goes here, maybe so. I could just defend like that, though. Okay, so I think, hmm, I'm not sure. Protected twice. Maybe I lift that. Right, they've got me a little bit. They've got me thinking anyway. Um, or maybe back here. And then push. Or I could just come all the way back. Like so. But then that's a defender for this. So... I'm going to let them double up my pawns. I'm going to let them do that. And then I guess the benefit, the only benefit of that then is that this pawn here then looks after this. So they're not going to want to take for a pawn. They're not going to want to lose their knight for a pawn. So that is the, um, that's not so bad. I mean, I don't like F2. It's just, that's weak. But they need to kind of get through this before they can even do that. Now maybe this this rook on the on the e file just seems a little bit kind of behind traffic. So maybe ideas of this now, maybe moving back. Um, pressure on this. You take, we take. On doubles my pawns. Okay, so they go for that. That is interesting. So. We can now, all right, let's just double make sure. So we can defend like so, can't we? This defends, rook defends. This is still defended by one, two things. Let 
any ideas now? Now things are opening up. This square. Can we get the queen involved? Maybe there. A little bit risky in front of the king. These two. Um, still ideas of f1. I like that. I like pushing forward in the middle. I think maybe the computer will say later on that I should have done that a while ago. They take, we take. Well, in fact, if we go forward, they take, we take. Maybe. But I need to be careful because this is currently the only defender of this pawn that comes with check as well. What was that about? Okay, right. So, why have they gone over there is the question. I'm expecting a rook to come in. Oh, actually, hang on. If I push forward, they take, I take, they take, I move to the side, and then they can get this out of the way. So, let's just be a little bit more sensible here. And maybe just drop back. Or maybe just get this king out of the way. There's no need for this king to be in line with a check. I'm happy with that. Let's do that. Okay. Um, still not a great deal in this. It's still pretty... Um, it looks pretty even to me. They may just have the edge because of the double pawns. And my king slightly in a... In a slightly worse position but I've got two centralized rooks but they're not exactly doing much now what about whoa 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 okay I am are they just going for like a, a pawn storm maybe takes takes and all that kind of stuff maybe um Do I think closing this down then? And then we can still push, no? So if we push here, and then we push here, and they take, we take with pressure on the queen. Should we do that? Also opening up this as well, just in case they decide to push again. Can happen. right so they are trying to go well they're just trying to sort of keep this solid at the moment and um well i guess actually sorry i lie i can't push because they can just take so that doesn't quite work um queen in is that a little bit kind of early just in case you move somewhere like so and then I could just maybe gobble up a pawn or two. This is the... Uh, now if I go here, then what? Are we expecting this just to back off? This is currently in a, doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I'm going to do that. If they back off, actually, I've got a check there, don't I? Does the check do anything? It makes them move over here. Or, sorry, not there. It'd be in check. It means h8's their only square. So that's an idea. Do I even want to take that bishop if it stays there? Because it's currently protected by the queen. So it goes there. Does the check do anything at all? It means they go there. And... I don't know if that's a great thing. I mean... Or what about here? Knight c5 with eyes on this. You just move forward. It, I think it just helps them quickly develop their pawns. I think now this is still under attack, annoyingly so. Annoyingly so. I, I, I think that's not a bad outpost. Surely it's not. It's not a bad place, is it? Now... Now, 
Now that is interesting. So I think maybe we, that is annoying, really annoying me. Um, I'm trying to figure out some sort of way to deal with this. I, I'm gonna get my queen involved, I think, because I don't want them taking that if I push on. And if they take, then obviously I can't do anything, but it also helps. Let's get this involved. Just want to make sure I'm not doing anything silly. That's fine. I think that's a really nice outpost. I'm probably missing something really silly, but that looks okay to me. Need to keep my eyes on the clock as well. I'm down to seven minutes. But there is increments, so I still I'm still alright. But they've got a lot of time. Now because the queen defends this, now I could go f1. Does it do much? Not massively. I'm, I think at this moment in time, I'm asking all the questions. I mean, I'm kind of, well, not asking questions, but I'm, I'm getting into the action a little bit more. My pieces look a little bit more threatening. Eval Bar will probably say I'm completely bonkers. Um... Any way to get rid of this so I could get my queen in there if this wasn't here. Discover check, obviously. Double check or something like that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. And, I mean, they're looking at this pawn here. So am I best to kind of just go in here? Does that work? I mean, is there anything I can do? So what about if I, what about if I, I'm trying to look at maybe getting my queen over here and going here threatening your rook and say they go there threatening this. I come in for a check and then is there anything else I can do? Or is this just a goner? At the same time, do I just lose this? So maybe just push this forward for the time being. Let's do that. that that's a plan. That is a plan. Please don't blunder, Jamie. Right, okay. That is our plan. Queen f3. Knight d7 attacking this. Rook comes back. Queen comes in for a check. King can't stay there or there. Can go there or here. So then we've got a, a knight over here. Is there anything we can do with that? King goes here to protect this square. So uh, there isn't, we can kind of come back. I don't know. I think it's a little bit kind of. There's not a great deal. Ooh, wow, they do that before. So now they got one, two. Hang on, sorry. One, two, three things looking at this. And I've got one, two, three things looking at it as well. However, if they take first, I can take with this. So maybe. I think maybe I'm going to go here. I'm definitely going to go here. Yeah, that works. Or works for me anyway. Look, ideas of going here, maybe getting the queen involved as well. Maybe even sacking this check. And if you don't do anything, then I come in there for another check and then there's all sorts of trouble. So that's an idea, but I think that's too obvious. So if I do that, what do they do? I think maybe they might just come back. I attack. So that doesn't, hmm. 
all of a sudden things are kind of opening up a little bit. Time, time check, five minutes, 25 seconds. They've got seven minutes and 40 seconds. Um, increments at the end will obviously play a massive part. And so I like that though. The fact that there's a check is nice. If I can get my queen here. Really intrigued to see what they're going to do now. I said it a couple of games ago when I was just in a situation I just didn't know what was coming next. I'm looking all around and I can't see something that's kind of threatening or really sort of productive in terms of development that's going to really kind of cause me dramas. So I still like that plan. F3. They won't think I'm going to do that. I don't think they will. Hmm. Yeah, now they're using their time. Now they're using that time. Or oh, even still, hang on. Queen F3. And then what about something like this? Threatening the queen. And say... Say they just take, then I come in there for a check. And then is there anything? I mean, then they go back and then I'm kind of out. So I think the best check might be this, no? I don't know, I'll need to calculate that depending on their next move, but it's an idea. I just wanna get in there. I just wanna get in there. Need to be a little bit careful as well. If this moves, this is hanging. They might even try something like that. I take, and then I've only got, I don't know, this is pretty, um, right, wow, okay, wow. So now I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do it. Why have they done that? Hang on, have they got anything nice? Like, if I was to go here, and they were to take, then I take again. Say they take, I take. Hang on, does that, do you know what? If they take, I think I might still just, if they take here, I'll take, they'll take, I'll come around here. They might, no, they won't double up. Hmm. Right. What are we thinking, guys? If it was my move, Knight sack for the check. I mean, I think they just, they take. If they move, they're in big trouble. Oh my God. I missed that. I completely missed that. Completely missed that. Right, hang on a second. So, obviously, if I take, they take my rook. And currently, my queen is under attack. And if I just, if I say move back here, can't move here because of the bishop. So, if I move back here, then I won't get that because you just get taken. Okay, so what about what about I just take? I take, you take, and then what about I come in here? And then I go in for the check. 
you can just move back, can't you? Yeah, that doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. That's not hanging queen defends. Okay, I'm in a world of... Okay, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to take, I think. And then they take this. And then we're going to jump in here. No, but then they can just block, can't they? Oh, man. And I can't... I don't know what to do. That pawn was... That, oh, that was really, really important pawn. And I, do I just have to jump back for the time being? I just have to jump back. Is there any, any nastiness they can do? If I jump back, then what? That's still hanging. They have to move it. Or do they jump in here, threatening this and this? Okay, I've got to jump back. I've got to jump back. Yeah, I've, I've got to jump back. Oh, I'm really annoyed that I missed that pawn. Wow, did I miss that freaking pawn? Oh, jeez. It can happen. I, sh I should have seen that I was too carried away with my own little kind of idea. Which I, didn't, I don't even know if that was going to work. And I still don't think it's going to work. That's frustrating. Okay, so immediately I think we, we're looking at this back. So that the check can come in if needs be. Because this is currently a little bit of a situation. Now, what I want to know is what they're going to do with this. They could just go back. If I take, they take with this. And then I can only come in for a check. But they can just move back. So. Oh, hang on. If they go there, then they can't. So, wow, okay. Right, okay, so... Now, actually, what they're looking at... I've got two things on this now. Two things on this. Attacking my rook. Attacking this. But that's not so much of a problem because I take, queen takes, we take. So that doesn't work. So I need to be cautious about that. So do I just go back? And then what? So ideas of, look, if I go here, say they take, I take, they take, I take, they take, I go forward. They can take that. So I think... That's got to be done. Oh, gosh. Just falling apart like that. I mean, it's it's not over until it's over, but... Oh, that pawn. Freaking pawn. Um, I mean, obviously, they, they're going to have eyes. The fact that they're going to know that I've got eyes on this. So they're going to probably try and do something about it at some point. I think I need to come back. I think that would be a really sensible idea. Coming back would be good. Be really good right now. I wonder what they're going to do with that other rook as well. That other rook's just kind of hasn't really had a chance to get into the game yet. So I'm expecting, I don't know, at some point. They were pushing these pawns initially before they figured out that they had that, that I couldn't take because I'd lose my rook. So they might continue with something like this. Really badly want to get this back. Looking after this, this looking after this, and also giving me the option to come in for a check or take with check. 
I mean, they could just go back and that eliminates all of that. Yeah, they do. So fair play, fair play. Now, if I push, where do they go? Um, hang on, wait a second. If they take, I take, King can't take back, right. Just making sure they can actually do this now, can't they? And then I just pressure like that. So if I go here, that's not too bad, is it? Where do they go? They're going to have to go. Can't go here. Can just go back. So looking at that, that looks a little bit kind of A3 and then doesn't really, yeah, there's nothing there from A3. So I think, or even here, with ideas of coming in, but that just, is there any way I can, so you take, okay, so they go back there. Um, what about pawn push? Although I, I like the fact that this pawn's looking after this pawn because that's so central in the board. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This pawn currently protected twice they might go there if they do i'll push on again this is the part in the game where things are obviously timed slightly against us both so you'll probably start seeing a couple of i don't know definite inaccuracies but maybe a maybe a blunder or two What about if I push on? They take, I take. Okay, yeah, I thought that might happen. Um, am I best just doing that? I see, I see no reason why I can't do that. They take, I'll take with check. They're not gonna take, because I take. It just leaves a pawn hanging there. I can then maybe think about getting my queen out here, attacking this. B7, I need to look for loose pieces. This is kind of, it was the start of their um, pawn pushing, but they didn't quite get to where they wanted to get to with that. They'll move quickly now that that clock goes red. Try and keep your calm. Um, obviously there's um, increment. Right, so yeah, now they do that. Is there any way I can maybe try and do my own? So if I go here, then what? Are they gonna take? Is that suicidal? I'm gonna do it. If they take, I'll take back with this. If they don't do anything, then I'm gonna take. If they push forward, I'm going to take. I mean, that horse, I, I, I might be inclined to sort of get rid of it because at the moment their horse is doing absolutely nothing. Wait, 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 what was that for? I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm going to take. Now, are they going to lose another pawn? Or are they going to take? If they take, they open this up. So they do that. So now if I take, threatening your queen, 
they take back with this. I come in with a check. Okay, checks there. They can just go there, can't they? If they go there, I win another pawn, don't I? Yeah, I do. In fact, I'm, I, I might win two. Yeah. Um, are my best just taking the pawn? Do I take the pawn? I'm taking the pawn. Take the pawn, no? Let's take that pawn. Take the pawn. Take the pawn, Jamie. This knight is stronger than this bishop. Ideas of coming in like this, looking at a fork, hypothetically. Okay, they do that, so where can they go? If I go like so, then what? That's good. Protecting this square. Can't come in here. Can come in there if you want to. Right, okay, now I think, oh yeah, they're attacking this. So maybe I just attack What about, I go like this. Yeah, can't say I take. If this comes in, you're getting a check. Then that blocks one of the rooks coming in, so it means they can't work together. Maybe that the check comes in. Okay, so yeah, I think that was probably a nice little check. Okay, another little check. Is that mates? Crikey, one minute left on the clock. They have 37 seconds. Got the job done. Got the job done. It was um yeah, I mean, that pawn that I lost really annoyed me because I still had time on the clock and I should have, I had that tunnel vision. I was tunnel vision in terms of like what I could potentially do. And I didn't quite, yeah, I didn't, I should have, you've got to if, use your clock, not just for your moves, but for what your opponent can do as well. Um, but that was a real buzz, honestly. I like that. That was right to the bitter end. Um, yeah, that felt good. Felt good. Let me see the accuracy on this. You can't see it, but it, I got 75%. They got 64%. It's weird. When you have games like this, you don't realise. At the time, it felt like it was really... I thought that was a bit more accurate than it was. Um, but look. Let me have a little look through the uh, the analysis. And I mean, jeez. It's saying, I mean, it was pretty much equal the whole time, although I was, I was on fire. There were no blunders from anyone, by the way. Wow. Honestly, the rush you get from chess matches sometimes, I never thought it would happen. When I started playing this game two years ago, solidly, it's about two and a half years now. I never thought it would be as beautiful as it is. Um... Okay, let's do this. So English, we take, and they either go back or they go to A5 is the normal kind of thing. Or this is, yeah, computer's been saying this. So maybe that. Okay, now here, I thought about this, I know it was it wanted f3, but I was happy to do that and add another defender to this. And do you know what the computer says that wasn't the best move? But it's still got me 0 0.7 up and you can see the eval bar. So 
and then this was a kind of interesting point where that that was silly that was silly and i need to stop doing these silly moves that can be easily defended it wants h3 and it wants me to come all the way back i wasn't sure i was debating whether or not to sort of slot back in here so at least i still had some sort of room or some some sort of eyes going forward but that could easily have just been dealt with and i eventually yes i accept the um the offer to go back and i'm still marginally winning yeah that was again it wants this it just wants that so that obviously the knight can't come in which i think i let it do in the end and then doubled up my pawns yeah queen d7 is excellent and that's poor it still wants d3 sorry h3 d3 h3 um and that's why it wanted h3 a few moves ago. Now, I was kind of umming and ohhing, do I move my knight out of the way to kind of protect this with the rook so that I didn't have to double up my pawns? In the end, I didn't. And that was fine. Yeah, it says that's absolutely good. It says rook ad1 is best. And then doubling up my pawns, so be it. I actually kind of used that to my advantage in the end. Well, I had ideas on the f-file and then they come in and attack this so i'm kind of like right now i kind of have to well no it wanted me all the way back that is interesting so it's things like this where i knew there was a way to defend it i didn't think it was ideal moving the queen to defend it um say like queen d3 but i thought this would be absolutely fine but computer wants me all the way back so that's interesting. I'm guessing for ideas of coming around this kind of route and just having a bit more of a, a role in the game. Queen goes over there. Computer's not a big fan. Now we're basically pretty pretty much equal. I get out of the way. Computer doesn't like it. Again, it wants this. It wants A3 this time. It does not want this coming in. Um, fair enough. I need to I used to do that all the time. Just make sure. These doesn't this doesn't have a room to come into or have a space to come into and h3 would have prevented that so doesn't like that and i was confused by that as well at that time i think i said on um on the camera that i was prepared well i was getting prepared for a pawn push and then i thought that was a good move and it is best it likes that and by now i was kind of like all right i'm quite happy with this and then trying to sort of, I've been trying to work on my knights and getting them into the game at the right time, into the right spaces as well. So I was happy with that. And again, I thought that was, it's an inaccuracy, but it wants king to defend that. Um, That's a nice check. It says it's excellent, but queen to f2 would have been better. Now that is excellent as well. So ideas here were to, I don't know. I don't know why, why did I do that? Why didn't I just go there first of all? I've no idea. I just, I've got no idea why I did it. It's not a bad move, but okay. Then I see this issue. How do I defend it? I move the rook forward and that's bad. Wow. Okay, that's very, very interesting. Yeah, once night in, and now it's got me two up. Okay, once the other rook there. And now I'm, I now I lose. I mean, it's not losing, but I've just I was two up, and now I'm zero point eight up. I'm trying to get this into the right kind of thing. It wants the rook there. I get it. Then that was oh really annoyed by this. Really annoyed. Can't take back obviously because this hangs. So I was kind of annoyed by that. Did I reply in the right kind of way? 
No, it did. It wanted that, didn't it? Oh my gosh, it wanted me to sack. That would have been a brilliant move as well, wouldn't it? I could tell. Oh, it wanted the sack. It wanted the sack, didn't it? Oh, it takes H5 as best. Wow. Oh my gosh, yeah, of course. Seeing it. Oh, you wally, Jamie. Oh, looking at it the whole time. And then when it presents itself to me, I panicked. So I take king moves here or here. And then I come in. Well, hang on. What about if the king just moves there? That's not a check. But then I come in aggressively. Right, I'm going to look into this later on much more because I need to see what I could have done and couldn't have done. But yeah, I, I, I had ideas of that. I did have ideas. Then they go here attacking this and this, which is now computer's got me 2.8 up. And I move here, get that out of the way. Still wants me to get rid of this. Oh my gosh. Okay, attacking this. Then I go all the way back. Now it's completely and utterly equal. Liked that. Yes, I liked it as well. Thank you. Right. And now they're a pawn up and I'm one up. So it's there's not much going on. I mean, it's... Wow. So it didn't... Okay, it says it's good, but it wants my other knight involved. And I get that. I get that. And it wants king out of there now. It just wants it out. Look, 3.4 up. I'm winning now. Then I take. And I'm thinking, hang on. What are they going to do here? I mean, they're not going to let me take the next one. So they don't. Which is good. But it still wants. It wants this gone. And then I take. Which is. Which is good. But it wants this. Wow. It wants that. Right. Okay. Just, just let my king just completely and utterly be in the open. But so I guess the pressure was on them. But then I do that with ideas of coming in for a check. And they defend like so. And then this is why I'm, this was good. I was happy with this because obviously I win the pawn. Wow. Okay, so that's just even better because look, that. And then I can come in for a check like that. If they take, I take. And then it's just, I mean, wow, it's just, it's happening, isn't it? Either way, it was just, it looks so good. So they go there. I come in for the check. Oh, it's still nothing wrong with it. I mean, look, I win the pawn. So I've won my pawn back. Come in with check and take another pawn. So I'm now two pawns up and two up in terms of the eval bars. So I like that though. It just wants it back there attacking this. But then you can just block like so. I'll take this, I guess. Yeah. Still wants that. I didn't. Do you know what? Finally, there you go, computer. There's there's the move you wanted. There it is. Um, I finally give it to you. And I was expecting, wow, it wants a pawn push. I thought you were gonna do that to stop the check coming in. Check comes in. They move to that side, and it is just mate. But yeah, guys. Anyway, look, got there in the end. Um, interesting game. Um, these ten fifteens, fifteen tens, sorry really growing on me and sorry the video is so long but look um i owed you for the, the for the um for the real quick seven minute video the other day anyway listen guys if you liked it give it a like if you want to give me a comment good or bad i'll take them all and if you want to give me a subscribe and support my journey on my road to 2000 then be my guest and i'd much appreciate it but for now take care of yourselves happy chessing see you all soon Bye bye